Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how to compute for the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of an atom. Okay, so paano ba mag-compute ng number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of an atom? Okay, so before we'll start video, hit it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so ano ba yung atom? Sabi nga nila, atom, it is the smallest constituent unit of ordinary matter that constitutes a chemical element. So it is the basic unit of matter. So sabi nga nila, itong pinaka-smallest particle in the universe. Okay? So mayroon din mga protons, neutrons, pero ito ay subatomic lamang. So pinaka-maliit na uh, unit of matter in the universe is an atom. Okay, so atom, yun yung discuss natin. Ano ba yung mga components ng atom? So dito, components of an atom, they are called the subatomic particles. So meron tayong P plus stands for proton. Okay, so proton is the passively charged subatomic particle. So positive si proton. Well, si electron naman, Electron is a negatively charged particle. And si neutron, okay, neutron is a neutral subatomic particle. So si proton lang at saka si electron ang may charge. So si proton is positive, electron is negative, neutron is neutral. Okay, so kung titignan nyo yung uh, imaginary structure ng atom natin, kung makikita nyo in the center of the nucleus, nandyan yung proton. Nandiyan din yung neutron. Kaya concentrated ang atomic mass ng uh, element or molecule ay it is the mass of the proton combined with the mass of neutron. So, ang, ang electrons naman, uh, sa totoo lang wala talaga siyang specific na uh, orbits. Pero parang uh, para ginawala natin yung orbital siya para mas clear yung maiintindahan natin yung mga uh, characteristics ng, uh, ng atoms. Okay, so yun ang electrons ay nasa mga energy level outside the nucleus. Okay, so yun yung ano natin. So to start, ito yung periodic table element natin. So dapat in chemistry, you have to be very good in understanding your table of elements. Dahil dyan nakukuha lahat ng mga informations na kailangan natin in balancing equations, in doing ionic bonding, and other chemistry problems natin. So, i i uh, dapat alam natin yung table of elements natin. So, for example, ito. Ito yung table of elements natin. No? So, kung makikita nyo, example si hydrogen. Okay? So, si hydrogen dito sa ano natin si hydrogen. Uh, kung makikita nyo, meron siyang 1. Okay? So, yung 1 natin, hydrogen, kung makikita nyo, ito yung 1. Okay? So, merong 1, it stands for the atomic number. So, lahat dito yung mga numbers sa taas ng element natin. Okay? Minsan, depende din sa type of uh, table of elements. Like, minsan, nasa right, minsan, nasa left. But in this particular table of element that I'm showing you, nandito po yung atomic number natin. So lahat ito dito sa taas, this is the atomic number. Okay? Yan yung atomic number. So kailangan natin yan malaman ngayon kasi magkocompute tayo ng number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So importante yung mga number na ito. The other one is what you have here. Okay? At the bottom. So meron tayong one point. Uh, 008, it is the atomic mass. Okay? So, atomic mass po yan of an element. So, for every one molecule of hydrogen, meron siyang 1.008. Okay? So, actually, they call it the gram per mole. Pero hindi mo natin i-discuss yung units sa ngayon. Okay? So, kasi ang uh, ifo-focus lang natin is numbering the proton, the neutrons, and the electrons. So, remember, ito yung number of ano natin? Atomic number natin and it states that ito din naman yung atomic mass natin. Okay? So remember, ito yung makikita nyo sa taas group 1A. So lahat ito dito, pababa, okay, 1A. 
Okay, ito naman si, except of course for oxygen, hindi kasama dyan si oxygen. Mama, sa next topic natin, malalaman niyo bakit hindi si oxygen kasama dyan. Then ito, pababa naman, ay group 2A, 3B. Okay, so yan, makikita niyo yung group number nila yan dito. Okay, so sa column nila, ito isang grupo yan sila dito pababa, isang grupo din dito pababa. Okay. So, but anyway, we are not going to use those information at this time. But instead, we are going to use the information on the atomic number and atomic mass only. Okay? So, yun lang ipapapag sa atin. So, start natin. Okay? So, general rules in calculating the number of subatomic particles. Paano ba makukuha si proton? Paano ba makukuha ang number of electrons? At paano din makukuha yung number of neutrons? Madali lang po. Pag sinabi natin protons, yung positively charged subatomic particle, ito ay equal to the atomic number. So sabi natin kanina, hydrogen, ito, atomic number ni hydrogen is 1. So meaning to say, yung atomic number is also equal, okay? Also equal to the number of proton. Okay? So next is, ano naman yung, ano naman yung electron? So, electron is equal to the number of protons. Madali, di ba? Kung alam nyo na kung ano yung atomic number, alam nyo na kung ano yung ilan yung protons meron yung ang atom na yun at ilang electrons. Because you know now that the number of protons is equal to the atomic number of that element okay? or of that molecule. Then, of course, we have electron. Sabi dito, electron is equal to the number of protons. So, kung ilan yung ano natin, ilan yung protons natin, yun, yung, yun din yung number of electrons natin. How about neutrons? Okay, ano naman yung neutrons natin? Ang neutrons, ito is equal to the atomic mass minus the number of protons. Okay, so sabi natin dito, example, atomic mass of uh, hydrogen. Okay, atomic mass of hydrogen okay, is 1. Okay, but of course, exempted si hydrogen dito. Hindi natin i-discuss si hydrogen. Ibang element i-discuss natin. Okay, for example, dito sa lithium. Okay, so atomic uh, number ni lithium is 3. And the atomic mass is 6.9. So usually, near a round of natin yan to the nearest tenth or, or, or once. Okay, so kasi ito pag mayroon mga decimal places, kasi ang atomic mass kasi, uh, it's a combination of the different isotopes of that element. Okay, so hindi nyo pa masyadong maano yung isotopes, so, didiscuss natin yan sa next videos natin, ano ba yung mga isotopes. But for now, you, you just have to round out the number. Okay, so rounding of numbers. Alam naman natin yun siguro kung paano mag-round off yung mga numbers natin. Okay? Into whole numbers. Okay? So, let's continue. So, yun yung ano natin, neutron ha. So, always remember this formula or, or this uh, on how to get the protons, electrons, and the neutrons. Okay? So, let's start. Meron tayong sample dito. Okay? So, structure of an atom. Always remember, sabi nga natin, si protons and neutrons ay concentrated siya sa nucleus of an atom. Okay, so nasa loob. Okay, so kaya yung mass of an atom is the is the mass of protons and the mass of neutrons. So ito naman imaginary ito, imaginary orbitals. This is what we call the en call the energy level. Okay, kung saan nandoon yung electrons natin. So sa first energy level ito, first energy level natin. So dito sa first energy level natin, pinakamalapit siya sa nucleus. Sabi ko nila, the nearest the electrons to the nucleus, mas stable siya. Kaysa yun, mas malayo sa nucleus. Okay? So, unstable yung mga electrons natin, malayo sa nucleus, at saka hindi kompleto sila sa isang energy level. So, pag sinabi natin kompleto, nasa maximum number of electrons meron doon sa orbit. So, example ito, sa uh, energy level number one, the maximum number of electrons that it can accommodate, okay? is only two. Dalawa lang ang pwede. Hindi pwede sumobra. Pwede siya maging isa lang. Okay? For example, for hydrogen, di ba? Isa lang yung electron. So, isa lang din yung electron nandyan sa first energy level natin. Okay? But the rest, okay? So, pinakamataas sa energy level number one is two electrons. Then, you have your uh, 
second energy level. Okay? So, second energy level natin, the maximum naman, ay pwede siya magka-accommodate ng 8. Okay? 8 electrons. That is maximum. Pwede siya 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 8 only. Okay? So, hanggang 8 lang siya, yung second energy level natin. So, third energy level natin, okay? So, pwede siya hanggang 18. So, 18 yung maximum number of uh, electrons sa third uh, energy level natin. So, 1 to 18 ang pwede niya i-accommodate. Well, dito naman sa fourth, okay, fourth energy level, okay, pwede siya mag-accommodate hanggang 32 maximum of electrons. Okay? So, mayroon pa tayong energy level number 5, 6, 7, okay? So, but we were not going to discuss it anymore kasi karamihan naman ng mga elements natin ay hanggang fourth level lang. Mayroon mga Ano, yung mga transition metals natin na meron umaabot hanggang 5, 6, and 7. But anyway, we'll not discuss those elements here. Okay, ito para mada madali nyo maintindihan kung paano ba natin kunin yung number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay? So, let's find the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Okay, so tignan natin. Example, if we have element carbon, okay, so isang atom of carbon element or molecule, so, kung makikita nyo, nandito si carbon. Ano ba yung ano niya? Ito yung atomic number. Okay, sabi natin. Upper left corner is your atomic number. Letter C is your symbol for carbon. Carbon atom natin. And of course, the atomic mass is 12.0011. So, for this calculation, for this computation, we will consider the atomic mass of carbon as... 12 only. Okay? So, rounding off this number will give you also 12 naman, di ba? So, how many protons do we have? Sabi natin, the protons of an atom is equal to its atomic number. So, dito ano ang atomic number ni carbon? It's 6. So, proton is equals to 6. Next is we have electrons. Ano nga sabi natin pag electrons? Electrons is equal to the number of Protons. So therefore, carbon atom has six electrons also. So how about the neutrons? Sabi natin, the formula for neutrons, atomic mass unit, which is in this scenario for carbon, the atomic mass is 12. Okay? Minus the atomic number or the no number of protons. Okay? So ano yung number of protons natin dito? It's six. Ano yung atomic mass natin? It's 12. So, therefore, number of neutrons is 12 minus 6. Then, that is equals to 6. Okay? So, gawin natin yung uh, imaginary. Okay? Imaginary picture of uh, an atom. Structure of an atom. Okay? So, nandito yung protons natin. Ilang yung protons natin? Anim. Okay? So, sa nucleus. Then, we have ilang neutrons. Sabi natin, only proton and root neutrons are located in the nucleus. Okay, so sila yung nasa nucleus area natin. So, you have the neutron. Anim din yung neutrons natin. So, your first uh, orbit naman for electron, ilang meron tayong uh, sa first, sabi natin, first uh, energy level, maximum of two electrons only. Okay, so dalawang electrons. And the second energy level is meron tayong apat. Bakit apat? Okay? Because we only have 6 electrons for carbon. So since maximum na occupied dito, the first energy level which is 2, 1, 2, meron pang natira na apat. Okay? So kahit na the maximum uh, number of electrons na ma-accommodate ni uh, second energy level is 8, but since the number of electrons total for carbon is only 6, so dalawa na sa loob, ang kulang na lang ay anim. So, this is the valence electrons of carbon. May apat siya na exposed sa labas. Okay? So, yun yung structure ni carbon. So, madali lang, di ba? Okay? So, let's try another molecule. Okay? So, let's try element oxygen. Okay? So, oxygen. Ano nga yung atomic number ni oxygen? This is the atomic number. At sabi natin, Protons is equal to its atomic number. Therefore, proton natin ay meron, ilang proton natin? Meron tayong 8 protons. So, electrons, sabi natin, electrons is equal to the number of protons. So, yan. So, neutrons, 
Na neutral natin, sabi natin, it is the atomic mass. Okay, so since the atomic mass of oxygen is 16, minus the number of protons, which is 8. So therefore, your neutrons is 16 minus 8 and equals to 8. Okay, so pareho sila, balance lahat. So let's make the atom structure. So meron tayong 8 protons sa nucleus. Okay, so walo yan sila. At meron din tayong walong neutrons. Okay, so walong neutrons na meron sa ating, sa ating uh, oxygen atom. So, and then we have on the first energy level of, uh, of oxygen atom, meron tayong, of course, meron tayong dalawa. Second level is meron tayong anim. Okay, so since the total number of electrons is only eight, so therefore maximum sa first energy level is two. So we already have one, we have two. So this contains two. Well, dito naman is one. Two, three, four, five, six. So, two plus six natin. Okay, so kung it two plus six natin, that is equals to, okay, so that is equals to eight. Okay, so meaning to say meron tayong walong electrons. Dalawa sa first energy level at anim sa second energy level. Okay, so this is the valence electrons. Yung anim sa labas, tawag natin dyan ay valence electrons of an atom. So, madali lang, di ba? Okay, so try pa natin another example. Example is potassium. Okay, so the symbol for potassium is letter K. The atomic number of potassium is 19. Okay, so atomic mass is 39.09, but the consider natin for computation is only your 39. Okay, rounding up your numbers. So, what is the number of protons? Number of protons is equal to the number of atomic numbers. So, therefore, number of protons natin ay 19. Sabi natin, ang electrons ay the same as the number of protons. So, therefore, electrons is equal to 19. So, ano naman yung neutrons natin? Neutrons, sabi natin, atomic mass minus the number of electrons. And therefore, that is 39 minus 19 equals 20. Okay, so meron tayong uh, for every atom of potassium, we have 19 protons, 19 electrons, and 20 neutrons. So ito yung structure niya. Meron siyang 19 na protons and 19 na uh, 20 na neutrons. Okay, so yan. Meron tayong 19 protons, 20 neutrons, and meron tayong 19 electrons. So yung 19 electrons, i-divide natin into its energy level, okay? So, first energy level natin is meron tayong dalawa, okay? So, sa so second energy level, maximum is 8. So, 2 plus 8 equals 10. So, kulang na lang is 9. So, ito dito, sa so third energy level, meron tayong 9 electrons, okay? So, to sum up, Okay, so yun yung 9 electrons natin. So to sum up na natin kung 19 ba yun. So meron tayong sa first energy level 2, sa second energy level 8. So ilan na? 10. Plus dito sa third energy level is 9. So therefore, this is 19. Okay? So kompleto yung electrons natin. So this is how you draw your structure. Okay, so you, you have your imaginary energy levels for the electrons. And your protons and neutrons are concentrated inside the nucleus. Okay? So, para ma matututo pa tayo, mayroon pa tayong isang example. Okay, so let's try zinc. Okay, so si element zinc, Zn yung ano niya, Zn yung zim, symbol, pati ako symbol, symbol. Okay, so then we have the atomic number of zinc is 30 and the atomic mass is 65, rounding off 65. Okay, so ilan yung protons natin? Sabi natin, protons is equal to atomic number and atomic number is 30. Therefore, protons natin ay 30. Then, we have our electrons. Electrons natin is equal to the number of protons and therefore, electrons is 30 also. So, let's get the number of neutrons. Sabi natin, neutrons is the atomic mass minus the number of protons and therefore, 
That is 65 minus 30 will give you 25. Okay? Oh, this should be 35. Okay, so this should be 35. Sorry, mali po yung computation na nagawa, but it should be 35. Okay? Not 25. Okay. So, next, gawin natin yung structure ng ano natin. So, again, i-correct natin ito. Okay. So, mali yung computation natin, but it should be instead na 25. Okay. So, it's not 25. Yung 65 minus 30 is actually 35. Okay. So, 35. So, gawin natin yung structure ng molecule natin. Okay? So, meron tayong 30 protons inside uh, sa nucleus natin. Okay? And we also have 30, uh, 35 na neutrons. Okay? So, 35 neutrons. And we have 30 electrons. So, sa first orbit natin, okay? First orbit natin ay meron tayong dalawa. Second orbit is we have 8. Yun yung maximum natin. So, 8 ang meron sa second orbit natin. Then, of course, meron tayong sa third orbit. So, sabi natin sa third orbit. And, meron tayong sa fourth orbit na dalawa. Okay? So, at natin, tignan natin kung equivalent to 30 ba ito. Okay, so, ito dito, maximum. Pwede niya ako kay dalawa. So, meron tayo dalawa. Ito naman, maximum. Now, it can occupy 8. So, that's already 10. Ito naman max, maximum that can occupy is 18. Okay. So, meron tayong 18. So, ano na yun? 2 plus 8 equals 10 plus uh, 18. That's 28. So, on the fourth energy level, dalawa na lang yung electrons natin. Okay. So, dito dalawa. To sum up natin ito, that will give you 30 electrons. Okay. So, that's how you compute for the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Okay? So, kung hindi pa rin kayo masyadong confident na gumawa ng pag-compute ng protons, neutrons, electrons, please message us. Okay? So, do please comment dyan sa bottom para alam natin kung ano mga suggestions ninyo at kung ano mga additional na mga lectures or, or examples na gusto niyo ipa-video natin. Okay? So, please comment po. Okay, thank you so much and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, thank you so much.